hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews you can see android version 12 pixel experience rom for poco x3 slash nfc kernel version 4.14.10 .4 of sapphire kernel august 14 this is the latest build available and this is the pixel experience plus surya 12.1 you can see the official build number and build date here Yes, this is a little bit late I am doing, but I will tell at the end of the video why I have skipped this. But uh, after many people asking about this, I still want to make it. That's how it is. And I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes and 6 seconds and 9 milliseconds. You can see here the maximum is 149 and average is 145 and minimum is 130. And there is no thermal throttling data, which is good in my opinion. That is really good. And this is the quick setting panel you get. It's very simple. Just this is an Pixel Experience Plus ROM. You will get a little bit of customization compared to normal Pixel Experience ROM. Starting with the dialer, you can see the UI is a little bit smooth here. Okay, direct video call you can check out. That's available in this ROM. And call recording feature is also available in this ROM, which is working fine. No problem regarding that. And quick settings panel also you can edit options. As you can see and power option is also here given and settings if you move into setting these are the actual settings here and coming to app settings let me show you this wallpaper sound style you can customize here wallpaper so you just tap here it will get changed those things are working fine and widgets are also working fine as you can see it is taking a little bit okay battery widget has been also added here and wallpaper has been changed and home settings this is a pixel launcher you get by default as you can see version 12 it's fine enough regarding ui it's fine and into settings these are the settings panel you get now starting the app results here i'll start with geekbench score you can also check out the app opening times you can see the single score is 551 and multi score is 1670 and sapphire 4.14.190 linux kernel has been used as i said before scores are a little bit better compared to previous version a long time made this review of this particular one and safety net status you get here it will get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications like gpay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use and drm info app opening taking a little bit of time here l1 certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution and google maps everything is working fine you get this kind of camera here basic camera just don't use that use the arno build gcam or if you want to use any other like greatness camera print of gcam ports available that's going to work fine that's not the problem here the entity benchmark score you can check out the app opening taking a little bit of time but it's fine you can see 255758 this is the one reason i can say and 2.9 degrees celsius is the temperature is and two percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing very low scores this is i don't know why it is happening like that uh, scores are not mandatory for me but if you want to see it i have done the review and this is how the scores and everything and internet connection is fine here i have 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection and even mobile data connection is also working fine no problem regarding that and the brightness level you can see it's fine if i turn on auto brightness as you can see auto brightness calibration is working fine and carrier aggregation support is also there i have tested and earpiece quality is fine enough during the calls now moving into actual settings you get app settings here if you want to change the default apps you can change from here special app access is also given notification settings you get bubbles with a conversation and special access uh, enhanced notification is also given and skip lock screen if you want you can enable or disable firmware and battery battery usage you can see it has been recorded one hour five minutes it was around 70 or 71 percent the battery life is also okay not great or anything it definitely fine enough because i will show you settings what all the display settings i said and how we are getting the actual battery life here optimization profiles you get this kind of options you can individually choose the optimization for certain apps advantage sorry adaptive battery is given battery usage extreme battery saver is given you can schedule them also that's all the battery settings and i will also show you the charging animation will it support 33 or not let's check 
the face unlock is really quick I'll cover the face you should get idea as you can see it is showing charging rapidly hence the fast charging is supported in this particular ROM and moving into sound and vibration you can see here all the basic customizations are available in terms of sound and vibration you get plenty of options here touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable clear speaker is also given and me sound enhancer is also given just choose the headphone type and preset and also the select the scene and hi-fi audio system is also available you can enable or disable from here this is the problem here plenty of customization are available in the sound setting that's fine in my opinion and wallpaper sound style you get this kind of pixel wallpapers are pre-installed here if you want you can choose among them basic colors only these things if you already watched my evolution x 7.0 android 13 video there are plenty of basic color options that's the one difference here upgrade is 4 into 5 available themed icons and dark theme let me show you dark theme it is a it's not a pitch black condition there is no option to make it though that's my complaint always and colors option you get plenty of customization here minimum maximum kept to 120 Hz because of that i am not getting very good battery life if you want to change it the minimum refresh rate to 60 then you might get little bit better battery life tap to wake tap to sleep is given wake on plug refresh rate per app also you can choose from here additional display features don't enable this if you want to play the hand games like bgm call of duty like those games Accessibility menu is also given here which is handy feature to use in a Android 12 and Android 13 without using the actual buttons you can virtually use them which is going to be a handy feature in my open location and Google Maps are working fine passwords and security you get plenty of options here let me go into security I have shown you as you can see fingerprint and face unlock is given here let me show the face unlock first it's very very quick as you can see just tap it gets unlocked and even the fingerprint unlock you can see and that wobbling effect is still available these are the customization and settings here into system you get some of the customization like status bar you can show the battery percentage and hide and clock style you get two options here brightness control auto brightness brightness slider you can customize their system icons you can enable or disable traffic indicator is also given i mean traffic monitor is also again some people ask about the button system navigation into gesture navigation there is an option to increase the gesture but it's very small very tiny it's not visible though and if you want to go to three button navigation you can go that end call long press for touch white uh, wake device answer call control playback keyboard cursor control reward and cl click partial screen so options are available in the gesture system navigation i already shown one handed mode is given it's very easy and three fingers coin screenshot swipe to screenshot is available this one use prevent ringing is available and one handed mode is also available just you can use this thing or you can select this shortcut also that's an total core feature just use this to use the one handed node but this is very small the pill use the gesture support only this all the customization available little bit available not a huge if you want more customization is watch evolution x latest video and carol service also which are very good in my opinion at the google photos unlimited storage is available in this room no need to worry camera quality is also very good in this particular room no need to worry that whatsapp is working fine every app is working fine and recently i made a pixel os you can compare this video and that video i will be concluding very soon i will be showing the call of duty and then conclude this video you can see here the call of duty gameplay set to graphics just low and max you won't get very max what you get in other roms that you need to keep in mind and this is most optimized battle royale game if you want to use garena free fire max bgmr pubg mobile pubg new state and apex legends much better rom is this sorry much better game is this one but it depends upon your personal preference I'll definitely show the BGM gameplay also. I'm not hesitating anything. Just it's not available in the Play Store. And Apex Legends is very big to download. For every ROM I won't show. For gaming ROM definitely include all the gameplay. And it's smooth and device is not getting warm. I am continuously using that and the light is exactly falling on the smartphone. But still you won't see any heating or getting warm here. Even fan is also turned off. 
but this is not the way you should use your smartphone you need to sit under the fan or ac or even air is passing in the room heat dissipation should take place for your smartphone if you want to remove your case you can remove your case while playing this kind of battle royale games it will even easily dissipate the heat of your smartphone i made a dedicated video also long back how to get very good battery life and how to utilize your smartphone battery and get for long time and you can see here it's fine here no lag whatsoever i can't find any enemies here this is a new mode okay there is enemy okay it was a sniper and the customization in the game i mean control settings also i haven't changed anything <laughs> it's bit difficult for me if i change the control setting then it would be easy i want to kill him okay i'll change the gun finally i killed him <laughs> let me know in the comment section guys which game which royal battle royal game you play in your smartphone i mean poco x this flash and so flashing guide is very simple this flash the 12.4.8.0 firmware and this particular pixel experience rom and then format data and reboot the system they have included uh, the firmware that has been mentioned but still you can flash the firmware nothing wrong in flashing the firmware again and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also all of the bell notification for pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys many people watch my video but not subscribing to my channel have a subscribe guys and this is the gameplay and coming to verdict i recently made a video on pixel os for poco xc slash nfc go for that rom if you are okay with this pixel experience then you can flash this pixel experience plus version also the previous version was a little bit better i don't think so any upgrade here i am missing that dark theme here pitch black condition that's the one thing complaint and this pill length adjustment is not available if it is pixel experience now i can say it's okay this is pixel experience plus they should have given the option to increase the bar length and that dark theme pitch black force pitch black condition that i am simply missing in this particular rom or apart from that everything is fine battle life is also moderate here and uh, games are also working fine you want you can check out as a dial driver i will recommend to go with pixel os rather than this rom thank you for watching this video guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now